You know what? This is the seventh chakra eye color look. Oh my gosh, I just came up with that. Like, oh, it's the, the seventh chakra, but it's super bright. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my good. Gonna go back in. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh my gosh hey everybody <laughs> hey artists welcome back to my channel if you're wondering why I don't have any makeup on it's because some of you requested to have me recreate my purple kind of violet eyeshadow look that I do in my video for the giveaway and I believe it's this look funny thing is is that I have been tracking my looks as I create them and kind of writing them down so that I don't forget which eyeshadow it is because I have a lot but um, that particular day I didn't really do that <laughs> and now you guys want to know however thankfully I'm pretty keen on my purple and violet kind of eyeshadow shades so as I looked at it I tried to pull it together for you so if you're interested in recreating this look please stay tuned I've got the graces of Frankenfurter with me, so I think we're good to go. Keep in mind, this is not a beauty channel, and I am not a beauty guru per se, but I, I'm okay with that. So I am an artist though, and I do view makeup as an art. So with that being said, let's create this look. I'm taking my favorite base, which is the NYX primer. It's white. It will give all of the vibrant colors a good nice pop make it pop make it pop oh my god no it'll make the colors more vibrant on your eyelid there we go okay how do they do this how do the beauty gurus do this what kind of special mirror do they have that they're looking at i got a three-way mirror but it's from the 70s and i'm pretty sure that it could probably set fire to my house if it was left on too long first time doing this guys so bear with me if you like it please let me know and i'll keep creating these looks because this is something that I do and I post the looks on my Instagram story because I really do feel like the world of art and the world of makeup come together so the more that I've actually learned to blend better I mean artists kind of naturally know how to blend already so if you're interested in learning you know even if you don't think oh gosh you know I would never wear that out in public um, it's still good to watch those videos so that you can learn something just for your own personal expansion. I'm going to leave my face bare and keep my concealer off just now because any fallout that ends up there will be brushed away in the end. So the transition shade that I'm using, which is close to your own skin color, and I am a very, very fail, pale girl. Fail, fail. A very pale girl. Fair and pale. A very fair and pale girl. There we go. And so this uh, is Wet n Wild's Creme Brulee. Thanks to a channel called Zabrina, I learned all about that. So I'm just gonna put that into creasing my eyelids first and using circular motions, then kind of using very smooth motions right in the crease. Now I have deep set eyes, so you can adjust this to whatever eyes you have, which by the way, I'm going to be developing a series called how to draw eyes but it's also not just like you know you can see a lot of how to draw eyes videos on youtube but i want to kind of take it a step further and show you how to draw eyes as far as like the structure of the eyes in the eyelid like you know these are deep set eyes this is how to draw deep set eyes this is how to draw hooded lids and monolids and yada 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 we're going to start with the take me back to brazil from bh cosmetics i don't know if you can see that but it's super bright. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh my gosh, and let me tell you, that hot pink right there, girl, good. <laughs> it's hot, okay. What I'm gonna start with putting in my crease is this particular shade right here, just a little bit, because these are very, very pigmented. I don't have a whole lot of expensive makeup brushes but I do own this one this is Sigma small taper blending e45 and it's a beauty it's a wonder I'm gonna take a little bit of that fuchsia and just start in 
the outer corner in the crease. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see how pigmented that is? Oh my gosh. I'm just going to start with some circular motions. And bring that in just like I did the transition. Oh, I'm getting the hang of this. Teaching as I'm doing. And start on that side too. And just take it in and drag it. If I do this again, let me know if it's enough lighting or not. I gotta kind of pull it out a little bit. This eye is actually more deep set than this eye. So I kind of have, this eye is actually a little bit bigger. So uh, if it seems like I'm doing something slightly different on one side, it's just because of that. But I try to get them to match. They're sisters, not twins, right? Here's the thing is that you start out just very subtle because you can always add more later on. But we're going to take this. This is actually an art brush from Michaels. It's a filbert. It's the number eight filbert artist loft. I was like, that's soft enough. That'll work. I don't have to spend 20 bucks on a blending brush. And it does just fine. It's not even, it's not rough. It works. So we're taking that transition shade again and just kind of uh, blending out those inches. <laughs> We're blending out the edges, the inches. My goodness, I'm coming up with a whole new language. There'll be plenty of bloopers on this one. So this is what I used for the lid. It's been well loved. It's by Profusion, it's called Neon Brights. I'm not even sure if it's even available anymore because they kind of rotate their stuff out and then just get it out there and recreate different things. So as you can see, this particular uh, kind of lilac purple shade is very well loved hit pan a long time ago and then this oh my gosh the shade of purple is just dynamic I think and I believe that's also what I used in my crease like I said I did not record what I or I did not write down what I was wearing that day so this is just my attempt to recreate it as much as possible so um, however, since this may be discontinued and you can try and find it online, I want to offer you guys an alternative that could be just as close to those shades. Um, it is the Vice by Face Candy. This is um, available on the Hush app, not a sponsor. It's a newer palette. I really like it. I just got it. And see that purple in the middle? It's got a little bit more shimmer than the other one does, and it's got a little bit more blue, but it's pretty damn close. There's an alternative if you cannot find the Profusion Neon Brights. I'm going to use that wonderful bright purple. It's actually fairly pigmented for being a very uh, affordable brand. See that? Oh. I'm going to take it into the what they call the outer V to define that crease. Girl, you better define that crease. To some of you who aren't into makeup or checking my channel, like, what the hell is going on with this channel? Oh, honey, we're going to blend. We're going to blend these two worlds together. So I'm just blowing that back out, kind of smoking it out with my literal filbert brush from michaels so it kind of blends those two purple and um, hot pink together to create a violet i believe i used that this purple on the outer third of my lids so that's what we're going to do that's what i'm going to do so i'm taking my fancy walgreens brush that i got for four bucks it's double ended okay it's got a little bit of pink on there already um I'll just go ahead and use it. I just got done saying that's gross. I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap in that little pan. Okay, and I'm gonna let's start over here. The light's a little bit better. I'm gonna pull that color in just a little bit. Oh god, I love purple. I feel like purple is good on anybody. Yes. Take the other end and just kind of smoke it out again. 
normally I would go back to that take me back to Brazil, but I think I'm going to do a little bit something different. And so this is the Aftershock Ballet from Bad Habit. <laughs> I had to think about that. It comes from Hush 2, it's 10 bucks. Oh my goodness, look at those shades. And what you see is what you get. Let me take that off there. There we go, there we go. Mmm, yes. I'm gonna take this brush. I don't know, I got it on Amazon for cheap. Take sensation, a new sensation. Take it right into the inner corner here. Oh, yes, yes. And just define the shit out of it. Oh, it looks so much better in front of me than it does on camera. That makes me feel better. <laughs> okay, other side. Now, since I have some left over, I'm gonna put it in my crease because I'm obsessed with the crease. And just kinda blend that in, blend it. Go to the other side and Put it in there. This is my absolute favorite eyeshadow of all time. Suddenly this has become an ASMR video. It is Urban Decay's Fishnet. And oh my gosh, it has been my favorite eyeshadow since 2006. It has been discontinued, sadly, but you can get it on eBay sometimes. So I have gone through several of these over the course of the last 12 years and hit pan with every one of them. And I mean, like I was like scraping it out the first time. It was awesome. I was like, that's amazing. So it used to have this little dome on here, but it's peeled off. Check it out, I've already hit pan with, look how sweet that is. And over the years I've tried to find dupes, but I just finally went online and said, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna see if I can find it on eBay. And sometimes you can find it on eBay, but I love how it has this sort of blue iridescent shimmer to it. And it's just, it's so great because you can just lightly put it over your lids and have a wash, or you can definitely create this sort of um, duochrome bluish purple fuchsia thing going on and I'll, I'll post a picture of what I mean so anyways we'll, we will go over that with a little bit just pat a brush that's similar to this you don't have to use an artist brush and we're just going to put it over the eyelid This is just a base, so don't freak out because we're going to put it back on again. We're going to layer it. Now, it may look like all of these colors kind of melt together, but trust the process. That's the whole thing, is to trust the process. And um, we're also going to blend out that inner corner because that is really too defined right now. I'm going to just blend that out. I'm gonna go back into the neon brights and I'm going to use the purple that I hit pan with, this one right here, this sort of lilac. I'm gonna load up my brush and put it across my lid. That way it reflects the light, it kind of makes a bit of a difference. Pat and blend, all that good shit. And it's actually, it's much more defined in person, like the difference between the fuchsia and the lilac. But what I do like to do is go back over it. It's a wet and wild large eyeshadow brush. Or I think it's a crease, crease shadow. Anyways, fluff it out. We're gonna go back to, take me back to Brazil. I am going to use that purple right there. Now 
know what? Screw it. I'm going to do this one. This one is more of a blue. This is kind of a blue violet. I don't know if you can see that. It's going to go back in. Oh, shit. <laughs> going to go back in with my Sigma E45. And uh, use that. Just get a little bit of that baby right there. Mm. Mm. Okay. Get that right in the crease there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Bring that out. back in and take the just the corner just the corner of this fluffy brush bring it in You just got to kind of blend it to however it pleases you, you know. You kind of just blend the purple and the violet together until you get the look that you want. And just keep that lid right in the center, kind of a, a shimmery violet color. And that'll bring your lid forward. Going back in one more time to put a finishing touch with that. But I'm not going to use that particular one. I'm going to use. It's just a very dense brush. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, Mama. Yes. I'm gonna take an angled brush and go along the outer corner here to kind of take these two together and really make the eyes big. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take BPM from Aftershock. Wrong end, Jane. And just actually works better looking at the camera. Here we go. I even use the NYX Professional Makeup Eyeliner, and this is the Retractable Eyeliner. It's in black, and I love it because it stays, it's waterproof, and it is amazing. And you can get it for five bucks. And I'm gonna define that outer corner there. I'm gonna go into Face Candy and use the keys right there. Do a shimmery. Just a touch of it, not not too much. It can be very subtle. The tendency is after I put on eyeliner that whenever I go to curl my lashes, then the eyeliner sometimes comes off a little bit and gets patchy. And then there's that annoying space between the lash line and the eyeliner, and it's just kind of obnoxious. Same eyeliner. So what I'll do is, because I'm 38 and I don't have the same eyelids as I did whenever I was 28 or even 32, I'm going to take this and get it as close to the lash line as possible, okay? And I'm going to basically start from the outer edges in and just go really, really slowly along the lash line. Just enough. I mean, this, this look is 
is making a statement already and you can build it up to a very dramatic that I mean it's already dramatic but it can be that much more dramatic if you want to you can use liquid liner I don't care but this is just how I do this because I'm gonna show you a magic trick that I do I try to keep my eyes open just enough to make sure that I'm getting as close to the lash line as possible and uh, it's a little tricky sometimes so you don't blink and uh, I used to do this thing where I would, you know, pull my eyelids taut whenever I was younger and did not appreciate the fact that our eyes are very sensitive. So with me, I like the upturned look usually. So I'll put, I won't pull it, but I'll put a little bit, tiny little wing there, not much. Inner corner. I am very happy to say that I have been gifted with long lashes naturally. I know some of you want to kind of punch me right now, but I feel like the things that we were born with are natural beauty and everybody has beauty, physical beauty. It just depends on if you're seeing it or not. Um, I feel like we should celebrate our strengths, like what, or what we naturally are beautiful for because society tells us, you know, a lot, especially in the, the realm of fashion and beauty, especially with women that we're not enough or that we have to correct things and I get it like I want to correct my you know under eye circles and good stuff like that but you know if somebody has naturally beautiful lips and I notice this as a portrait artist I will compliment them and I'll be like or if their lipstick looks amazing I'll tell them Or if they have, you know, beautiful eyes, I tell them to. I find eyes just absolutely mesmerizing. So, let me go back over there. Just a little bit more, add in a little bit more. Try not to talk. Oh my God. Try not to talk. Here's my little magic trick that I have. I, of course, told you how much I love Urban Decay. Well, it was kind of a duochrome effect before there was such a name for it, I guess. This over the black eyeliner is amazing so i will show you the proper way of doing this i guess would be you know a little brush like this and just take your favorite eyeshadow that has a dual chrome effect this is my favorite and just lightly run it over the black eyeliner you may experience a little bit of fallout that's okay and then do it on the other side. It'll reflect the light. Oh my god, I love it. So when the light hits, it's kind of like this iridescent purple instead of black. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Oh my gosh. I could bathe in this color. Oh my gosh. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but... I'll get it there. See that dual chrome effect? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we got our lashes to take care of. Now I don't wear fake lashes. I really don't have a use for them. So uh, as I told you, I I am very proud to say that I have naturally long lashes. Thank you, Mom. I mean, really, I remember the first thing that she said to me, and it was so wonderful, was whenever I was about eight. Nine, I started playing around with makeup and she was like, it's okay to wear a little bit of mascara, I guess, you know, and whatever, uh, not out, but just for practice, I guess. And uh, she said, you know, Jean Ann, she said, you don't need mascara at all. You have beautiful long lashes, but me being me and you know, I've just always been kind of a girly girl on the inside and just at heart. 
I wanted to play around with it, see what it did. And oh my gosh, it was like a, you know, life changing. But I, I did not appreciate my lashes until much later. My absolute holy grail mascara of, that I've ever found is Physician's Formula. This is the Sexy Booster Cat Eye and it does everything that it's supposed to. The one drawback is that the formula is a little dry and so every once in a while I'll just dip a little bit of the wand into water and kind of get that, you know, basically uh, watered down a little bit more because it can get thick and dry and kind of, eh. But um, it smells like vanilla for one thing and at least for me it does exactly what I want it to do which is fan it out, bring it up, make it look sexy as hell, and look like that nice cat eye look. Mm-hmm, yes, yes. Let's do it, okay. Get that inner corner. Get that outer corner. Get that out of the corner. Uh, it does bother me whenever I see someone with really clumpy eyelashes. It's one of those things that I'm like, can I just run a comb through those, please? It's like, it's like seeing a zit on somebody's face and it's like ready to pop any second. And you're like, so now I'm gonna confuse the shit out of you and go back to my eyes and do the inner corners. <laughs> I'm gonna take that that panned out from the neon brights, I'm gonna take that lilac color and put it on the inner rims. Take a very tiny brush, like this, whatever you can find that looks like this, that's suitable for the eye. Oh, yes! Oh, girl! I'm gonna rock this shit. I love purple, don't you? Like, you hear people say, I don't like yellow. I don't like orange. I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of, I don't like green, blah, blah, But you never really hear anybody say, I hate purple. Okay. Now we got this nice glow going on. So now, now that we've got the eyes done, if you are completely satisfied, you can go ahead and stop the video if you want. You don't have to watch the rest of it. However, I'm gonna go ahead and complete the face. I use the NYX HD Photogenic Corrector, the yellow one. This is the thing is that makeup is interesting. Um, if you notice, some of the correctors are the exact opposite um, on the, well, they're complementary for the color wheels. So green corrects redness and the yellow corrects dark circles, which tend to be blue and purple, so. I just take a little foundation brush and just go ahead, go to town. Just blend that shit out. You gotta blend it out. You don't wanna look like that lady that sat in uh, Sunday school in church who had caked on makeup and wasn't blended and whenever the sunlight would hit it, you could see everything. Yeah, that happened. Oh, we are purple queens, aren't we? Purple's the color of royalty and the color okay this is you know what this is the seventh chakra eye color look oh my gosh i just came up with that like oh it's the the seventh chakra i should make a whole video on eye looks for the different chakras i mean i got my art i got my makeup i got my metaphysical there you go wow interesting okay i typically don't wear foundation i actually just normally use this Tinted Moisturizer by CoverGirl CG Smoothers, BB Cream, Tinted Moisturizer, Sunscreen with Broad Spectrum SPF 21. Fair to light because I am a very fair girl, as I mentioned. It's really, um, it's a sensory thing. Like I'm not really cool with heavy foundation. It just feels wrong on my face. So I like this because it gives me coverage, just sheer coverage, blends everything, blends fine lines and wrinkles and things like that and uh, it has sunscreen in it so i'm cool with that and it wears really well for a long time so oh my I, we're at an hour now Shit, i didn't think i was that girl i guess i am yeah <laughs> take that same same foundation brush and i'm going to use upward motions because 
gravity is working against us anyways, and so we got to be very conscious of this, even if you're young and watching this. There's a lady on YouTube, I can't remember her name. She does face yoga. And she talks about putting moisturizer on and using upward motions. That's kind of where I learned it from. Oh, kitty's sneezing. Kitty's got allergies. Okay, that shiny ass forehead. It's like a disco ball. Okay, so I'm going to take the um, Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I don't like to do a lot of contouring, but because uh, this is just enough for me. I mean, literally, like, just two pats. But I do like to bring out my cheekbones. So, so I'm going to try this Baked Blush by Wet n Wild. I bought this the other day. I was going to just use it for eyeshadow, but it's got a cute little hummingbird on it. Subtlety, it's so, I love subtlety. It's like that with art, you know? Like some, some points need to be defined and be harsh, but like underneath, there's a lot of subtlety going on. Except for pop art, which I'm doing a video on too, the principles of pop art. I'm actually working on three different videos right now, and so please bear with me. Let's warm this face up just a little bit. I was gonna go with this, but I'm gonna take Maybelline the glow down. Okay. I can't remember which beauty guru it was that recommended this as a highlighter, but I may remember later and I'll stick her name on here. So this can be used as an eyeshadow or highlighter. And see the gold from this will warm up that purple too. And they are complementary colors, so therefore they will work and it's not too harsh. I'm not glowing like a disco ball, but maybe I am a little bit. You put a little bit on that chin, just a little bit on the tip of the nose, and the cupid's bow. And with my contouring palette, I just put a little bit under here to make it that lower lip larger. Stay matte because it's very important because um, the oil factory has been going on since I was age 13. However, the um, production has slowed down since I left my teens, but over the course of time, it stayed with me. I think it'll bless me in the end as far as wrinkles go, but for now, we're going to stay matte. And this actually does, I never really had too many um, powders that worked out very well over the course of the day because that this was shine would just break through. But this actually does a pretty good job. Shine kind of breaks through after about four hours, but I mean that's pretty good. If we were all picture perfect we'd be like that Twilight Zone episode that scared me whenever I was a kid where it was like number nine looks like you. And it was a woman who, or it was a girl, she was like 18 and this was like in the future or something and everybody had to look like each other and she had to, she was coming upon the age of like rite of passage where uh, she was, she had two looks to choose from and she fought it and she fought it and she fought it and she was kind of like, you know, kind of plain looking and everything and I can't remember exactly how it happened but basically I think like she got boxed in and closed in on by the doctor and her mom and everybody else. And the men looked all alike too. They had like two looks to choose from. So everybody looked like, you had four different kinds of people that looked like each other walking around on this planet. And uh, it was very weird. It freaked me out when I was a kid because I was just like mortified, you know, that she, it happened to her. Like it mortified me that it happened to her and that after it happened, she was like, I like it. Like she was like transformed and you know, brainwashed her or something. And it not only did that, but it kind of made them ditzy too. Now normally I fill them in, so we'll see how this looks. Again, pink eyes, purple and pink oil. Well.
Setting Spray by Wet n Wild. Dry, 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 dry. Actually, I heard that on Fleek's not cool anymore, but I don't, whatever. I was never cool. That is the completed look. It is such a, a fun thing to be able to create different looks with your eyes. And eyes are some of my most favorite parts of the human face and the human existence. I love drawing eyes. I love working with my eyes and creating things with my eyes. And I love that other people do it too. And so therefore, if the win these are the windows to the soul, why not get creative with them? I like to keep things a little bit loose on my canvas, you know? I like to keep it very, um, try to find the fine line between dramatic and subtle. Like sometimes, I, I just love the fact that you can have the contrast between natural looks and you can have colorful washes. It's a lot like watercolor in that sense, you know? You can have a color wash or you can get more refined with your layers and you can create colorful looks, dramatic looks, smoky looks. You can combine colorful with smoky. You can make a really rock and roll look. You can do all kinds of fun stuff. So uh, please keep an open mind whenever you see this tutorial. And uh, you know, just, we might make a certain section for that in this, in this channel. I really do appreciate makeup and I appreciate it as an art form. So, so uh, there's sections that I do art tutorials and then there are sections that I do uh, with an art and soul series that kind of dives deeper into what it is to be an artist and to be inspired, whether you're a musician or artist or makeup artist or whatever it is that you do. So I try to cater to a little bit to everybody, even though I'm a visual artist at heart. Um, I believe it's, it's, it's definitely, beneficial to expand your knowledge of how cre the creative process works outside of your own natural medium. So please hit that like button. Please subscribe. I would love to have you in, on my channel and connect with you. And I will see you later, artists. Keep creating. Uh, it will make the colors more vibrant on your eyeshadow lid. <laughs> on your eyeshadow lid. It'll make the colors more vibrant on your eyeshadow <laughs> It'll make the colors more fucking vibrant. It'll make the colors more... Ugh. Ugh. I'm gonna leave no conceal. <laughs> I'm gonna leave my eyes and my face. <laughs> wow. Okay. Where'd it go?